I'm uh, back to the shooting and uh, yeah I've done some sh uh, some shooting but not much um, so my plan is to um, since I'm now gonna start up again uh, and I'm gonna start with uh, just take everything apart uh, to change this barrel uh, because I have around thousand shots through this one and uh, I'm going to change to another one that only have 200 uh, and I'm going to load up and uh, I haven't made a movie of, about it but um, I bought this uh, Tacticam 5.0 and from a girl that uh, didn't um, it didn't fit her scope uh, so, um, I have tried it and I really like it, uh, it has some benefits compared to other things I've seen, um, so yeah, but the reason why I bought it is because of the second hand use and yeah, it's fun. So I'm gonna go through how that works, uh, I haven't, uh, I only used it on the mouser, so I haven't used it on this one yet, so I um I will be eager to test out how that will be. The thing with the camera behind here is that I have to make some compromise between uh, my uh, view of the reticle and the camera's view of the reticle compared to the background. It's not going to be crystal clear for me or the camera. So uh, if it's clear for the camera uh, and for the film, it's not cl crystal clear for me. So I have to compromise, um, give and take. That's, yeah, that's, I think that's how it's just gonna be, yeah. I'm marking this since I'm going to move on it. Since I'm gonna change this, I want to mark it in case I'm taking it off.
on the internet you will um, see how this works on many people have shown it so I'm not gonna go all through in it but you're gonna find one of these adapters that fits your scope put that in place this one um, along with the, the tightening screw here I'm not gonna tighten this very hard um, yet because I'm gonna take it off and on because I need to adjust this piece so the image for the film is gonna be clear yeah and here's the one thing or maybe only thing I like about this is that some of this um, uh, tacticam or this scopes thing is placed on top here that makes it difficult for me to adjust the turret here and if it's a place on this side I can't see my wind turret and on this side I would like to see with my uh, left eye the wind and stuff like that so the f a nice thing about this is I can place it wherever I want and I can change this uh, camera so it's gonna be uh, totally square in the camera so what I figure out is that if I place it down here I can see this side and on the turret here and also this side and it's completely out of my way of everything <laughs> 